So today I'm going to show you how you guys can put yourself into any environment, into any scene and create a cinematic version of your own footage. And I give it a name of AI VFX. Well, we're only going to use some free stuff. So let's dive in. So first of all, you need a video of yourself. So I'm using this video just for the reference. You can use your video as well. So first of all, you need to take a screenshot of your video. So just play the video and find the clip where you find the person is less visible in the video. So I think this one is a good spot. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that or you can save the image manually. So once you have done, just go to the pixelcut.ai and now select the magic eraser. Now just upload the screenshot that we have just taken. So I'm going to upload a screenshot and now make a selection of our main subject so i'm gonna make a quick selection of that so basically we are trying to remove the main subject from our video and uh, i'm gonna tell you why we need that so hit apply magic eraser and now you guys can see our main subject has been removed now just click on the download button and download your image now in the next step we need to create a background for our video and uh, for that we're gonna use the lensco ai so simply go ahead to the lensco ai this one is also a free AI tool, so you don't need to worry about that. Well, on the daily basis, you get the 50 free credits, but I have already utilized some of the credits, so I only have 10 credits for now, but it works for me. Now click on the create image, and then you will have this interface in front of you. Well, you can also use any other AI image generated out of a zoo image to image, but this one is a free, so you can also utilize this one. Now just upload the image where we remove the main subject from our image, and then make sure to select the realistic style and you don't need to select the aspect ratio because this will automatically detect the aspect ratio and keep the guidance scale around 7% which is default. Now in the prompt section you can describe the scene where you want to place your main subject. So let's say a fantasy land castle on a background and cinematic and now hit generate. Well, if you are worried about the credits, don't worry about that because it gives you 50 free credits on a daily basis. So you don't need to worry about that, right? And now you guys can see it gave us two different variations. Now you may be wondering that why we use the reference image for that. We can generate the image, but if you are trying to generate the image only with a prompt, it will create some different camera angles. And to maintain the camera angles, we used a reference image. So let's say I'm going to go with this image. So I will simply download this image. Now the next step is to animate our background and for that i'm going to use pixverse ai because this is a free ai tool so simply go ahead to the app.pixverse.ai now you have to select the image to video option so upload your image so once it's done just scroll down and play around with the camera motions so in our initial video because the person is walking towards the camera so we have to create a zoom out effect so it can match the vibe so from here i'm gonna use this zoom out effect so you can move the slider all the way to the like three which one do you think is suitable for you and from the motion strength i'm gonna keep it default so because we don't want too much motion in our video right and now hit create okay so after generating some multiple variations i want to stick with this one and you guys can see it is a really smooth zoom out effect now you can simply download your video now the next step is to separate our main subject from the video and for that we're gonna use runway animal well, don't worry, RunwayML gives you some free credits so you can play around with this one. Now just click on the video editor project and click on the new project. And from here, select green screen project. Now from the left side, just click on this upload button. And now you need to upload your main video. So I'm going to upload my video. And once it's done, just drag your video to the timeline. And now you need to add some green dots on your main subject. So the AI can detect your subject and this will automatically select the main person in the video so as you can see it selected the main person but if you see any kind of the imperfections you can zoom in and uh, include or exclude anything but i'm good with this one now to refine this just keep the feather values around five and now click on the preview button and as you can see it made a very perfect selection of a main subject now hit the export button and select the green color because we want to export this in a green screen right and now hit export mask now to find your video just click on this go to export and you will find all of your exported videos here now once you're done just download your video and now the final step is to combine these videos in a CapCut so I'm using CapCut you can even use any other video editor so I have imported both of these files in the editor now first add the background video file in the timeline that we generated with the Pixverse AI 
and then import the video with the person. And now just drag the main video above the background video and then go ahead to the cutout option and select the chroma key. And from the color picker tool, select the green color and just move the strand slider and adjust this accordingly where you find that it looks good to you. And you can also play around with the shadows. So I'm gonna keep the values around five. And now if I play the video, you guys can see we have a zoom out effect and also the person. But one thing that you can notice that the background video is only 4 seconds long. Now to make it long, you can select your background video and go to the speed option and just lower the speed around 0.8 or 0.7 wherever you think it looks good. But one thing that you can also notice that the color tones are not matching with our background video. So for that, you can go to the adjustments and go to the HSL settings. And from here, you can play around with these sliders and uh, just do some kind of a color grading to this one. Well, I know I have done a really bad job in this one, but you can do this better than me. Now simply hit the export button and here is the final output. So as you can notice that the color tones are not matching with our background because of the color grading, but uh, you can do the color grading better than me. And you can also notice the watermark on the right side of the video in the bottom right corner. So to remove this, you can use any of the free online watermark remover or you can or you guys can even remove this watermark before combining both of these videos so this was a simple process uh so if you ask me is this perfect absolutely not because we have some weird effects in this one this is not perfect but if you want to try this on your own videos and just want a quick results this is the way how you guys can do it so that's it from today i hope you guys like this video and if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one